Hello everyone and welcome back to the Indie Horror Spotlight, where I've been having a ton of fun lately with the change in pace between each game. It really is interesting to just find something in the moment, decide I want to play that when I see it, and see how it goes. The fresh ideas that I come across are very interesting to say the least. What the hell? Hi there. <gasps> Oh, don't you fucking hate it when you lose the keys to something in your own house? That's- oh man, I hate it when that happens. You okay there, bud? You're not okay there, bud. Today we're playing something just as interesting. I decided to change up the pace just a little bit more again, so this is Fido. Fast, intelligent, demonic organism. I'm not sure why the start menu is way over here. Maybe... resolution related, but... I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be there. Regardless, this game has a special kick to it. It's top-down. Uh, very weird, too. Uh, it's 3D, so the top-down is a, a little weird to look at. Like, I expect to shoot stuff in a top-down shooter, and instead I'm just pointing a flashlight. Actually, that's a good way to... What is that music? Oh, it's a dog. You're gonna hang out this weekend, that cool? Yeah, good boy. Collect the trash and take out the trash. Okay. I'm already unnerved. Nice car. Uh oh. It's getting more ominous. <laughs> I just... I'm waiting for something to happen. No, that's not... Why is your house laid out like this, amigo? Whoever uses this stove has a bad habit of leaving it on. This door is locked. Is there a thing I can press? Can I click on anything? Empty, are you hungry? Food. Dog food. I'm not... Wait, so then... This TV's broken. Wish I knew that before taking this job. What is... Who am I? Looks especially worn. It's just so weird. It smells like something died back there. It sure does. Lockers. Can I search? I cannot. That's sad. I kind of would have liked to search those. There are dog bowls everywhere around here. There are three of them that I've passed by. Oh, I have to do things in order. Okay, I could have picked that up much sooner. Walk the dog at entrance. I feel like you're leading me up to... S the dog's gone. Yeah, you're leading me up to something. Oh, he's pissed off now. Oh! Oh! No. It's right there. Oh. Oh. No. Nothing is safe. I am not safe here. Oh. 
Well, it was a lot less spooky when the jump scare came around, but that wasn't even close to what I was expecting. I have to do this again. You, you can't see me. You're not coming over here yet. I have to be looking for something, right? So maybe like a key or a... Uh... Okay. All right, good. We got the kid open the thing. Time to get the fuck out of here. That's an elevator? Okay. Dark and spooky, just the way I like it. Man, this is really tense. Oh. Yeah, you guys are having a bad day, aren't you? Yeah, that's a uh, That's not great. Oh. Oh. These lockers. I actually don't want to know. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Uh, this is not, not good. What the fuck? What kind of mad science shit was that? Someone there. Ah, you are still alive, amigo. Are you? Test subject 060300. Fido. It stands for Fast Intelligent Demonic Organism. We were studying demonic entities to harvest his powers. Everything went wrong. He got out and slaughtered nearly all of us. You need to get back up to the house and exercise the dog. Ask around the house will be all the items you need. Take this book to defend yourself. If you use it right, it should keep him at bay. Don't point your light to reveal his point your light to reveal his runes and translate them as fast as you can. Time is of the essence. Once you have the item, take them to the dog's house in front of the shed. Uh, all right, good. Fucking collect all the stuff. Get to the thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Yeah, this is way more long-winded and thought out than I thought it would be. And I'm very glad that this was the game I decided to play. Wouldn't have it any other way. I'm guessing that's where... There's more of these things? What is that? This is so strange. What's up? I didn't go up. What are they studying? I know what they're studying. They're studying demons. Uh, it's not... These people... How, yeah, that's a good question. Because, like, this is a really fancy setup here. Who's chalkboard? What do they mean? Hey, they're in this book that the doctor dude gave me. Looks like the dog found a new chew toy. I really dig the Resident Evil style looking at stuff, but I would appreciate... If I could click on those things to look at them. You know what I mean, Dev? Let me, like, trigger the sequence of looking at something by interacting with it. Give me an indication with my cursor that maybe what I'm mouse hovering over lets me click on something. And that would be far superior to just having shit happen as I walk by. Like, I would get to enjoy it a lot more. It's the Doom Eternal argument all over again. Let me push the goddamn button. <laughs> Can I sprint? I can't sprint. And that makes this a little bit hard to... You don't need to sprint, though. I don't need to sprint. I'm moving at a leisurely pace. Oh, the music changed. Oh, it's all on fire. Oh, and blood. And... Demons?
What? W. Um, D. W. V. Z. Uh, S. W. C. It's kind of like a fight, almost. Is there... Oh no, I can't do anything. I don't think I can do anything. Freezing, uh, freezing the thing stops me in place, and I'm kind of not digging that. Like, really not digging that. Why does my movement halt when I reveal the thing? And also, what even is am I doing? Like, I know I'm looking for stuff. I don't know what that symbol means. <laughs> Fuck it. S? I don't know what that means. It's hard to gauge what all of these symbols mean. Like, I know I've got the book right there, but they're there, and then I look back and they're gone. I just am having a hard time processing it as fast as it's expecting me to. You know, as much as I would love... To sit around trying to figure out your weird rune puzzle that I think is kind of broken. I think I'm going to just leave it at that. I don't dislike this game. I don't think it's a bad idea. I think with a little bit of time and patience it could be made a hell of a lot better. It definitely needs some refinement, but I like this idea. The idea of using this top-down horror environment and items as a kind of mechanic to fuel that. The runes, I don't quite understand. As somebody who has played many video games over a very long period of time, unless it's a rhythm game, I don't understand the need to actively decrypt these symbols in real time. It's a very interesting idea, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying if you're going to do it because you're introducing it as a mechanic, do it a little bit slower. Maybe just a little bit. Not everybody has the time and patience for something like this. And as much as I would love to do it a hundred more times to figure out exactly why I can't process those symbols as fast as whatever is going on, I simply don't. Thank you. And have a nice day.